Well, here's a little update. I haven't posted anything in a while. You can see those little chickens that I had in my previous videos that were little tiny baby chicks. Look at them now. And it just got through pouring out rain and tank is out here soaking wet with the rest of them. They have shelter, but they decided not to go. Moringa trees are getting really, really big. And I got my shampoo lilies over there. And I got the Meyer lemon has some lemons. And my baby ducks, the little tiny things, they were let out yesterday for the first time. And they got a brigade going on. <laughs> See them? Oh my goodness. They are something else. Honk, honk, honk. My tomatoes have been hit by some bugs. It's been fun. You guys are doing good. I have three males over there that are the blue Swiss. The female died, which is a shame. We had a couple of them die. I got them from Myers Hatchery and uh, they like died a couple days later. They weren't doing good at all. And uh, I know how to take care of fowl. But these guys, they go all over. We keep them from going back there because of the um, the dogs. One of them managed to uh, get out and go over there and get nailed by the dog. So my squash ended and the pumpkins ended. I gave up on it, so they go in there too. It's kind of flooded back here. And uh, got a moringa tree growing there too. They go in there when they want to get out of the weather. Quack, 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 quack. These ducks here came from, um, one of them came from Barnum and Bailey. I had five of them. And then, uh, gosh, he's about eight years old right now. Hey! You guys can't figure out how to get back in? So, I guess I'm not a very good gardener. Because I've used every spray and took all the advice of everybody on uh, YouTube. And I'm still having issues with these bugs. This is the kitty kitty that one of our workers brought up here. And he has really done a good job being a mouser. got some more peppers coming up and these oh my goodness people this is a California Reaper not a, not even the bugs touch that one oh and I look at here this one something ain't this probably the chicken but that Reaper that <laughs> I put one of them in a huge pot of soup and I thought we were all gonna die. It was so hot, but it didn't get hot until after you ate it. And then we were smoking. <laughs> so hopefully I gotta get out here and take care of this Monday after the family leaves tomorrow. I'll get to some of it. And there's, yep, there's another red reaper over there. And the donkey decided to put his head over there and eat the tops off my sunchokes. I'm just wondering if they'll grow back up and bloom again or if they're just not gonna do. And this is a renegade tomato. It just decided to grow. And there's two types of tomatoes. There's plum and round mixed in one bush. So I don't know. Um, 
how that came to be. The Nissan joke chokes did survive. And the Moringas, remember how they froze out last year? Look at how big they've gotten. So, everything's doing good. I can't complain. God has blessed us. And uh, everything that froze came back. Almost everything. This is Face Farm Life. And I wish you a happy weekend. Happy 4th of July. I hope you get a bang out of your weekend. <laughs>